Oh my god. Is that... Is that a new KOTOR game? The Matrix 4. Oh, I'm... I'm consuming! Oh, I'm consuming... Uh, I must consume! Bro, it is dead, bro, GG, rip KOTOR. YouTube, it's your boy Kos, and i um, back again. Um, <laughs> it has been a boring couple of months in terms of Star Wars news, but not a boring couple of months in terms of politics and the COVID apocalypse and the COVID dictatorship, which has been uh, thrust upon us by our Democrat overlords right now. Um, all the mask Nazis and vax, vax Nazis are out in force making sure that you comply with Big Pharma. Take their third, fourth booster shots and don't complain, you peasants. Anyway, uh... <clears throat> enough about that politics. I feel like I talk about enough of that on my channel. It's become, uh... I hate to say it's become one of the focuses on my channel, and I like to get back onto Star Wars, but there just hasn't been un that much news until recently. Um, with the, I guess the Star that Star Wars anime trailer, which, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's okay, but you know, I know narrative-wise, it's probably gonna be more SJW tripe. You know, I mean. <sighs> It just doesn't feel like Star Wars. It feels like a samurai movie with the Star Wars skin. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Back to what I originally wanted to talk about. So. As I was cruising Twitter the other day, I saw this trailer for, um the KOTOR remake, Knights of the Old Republic remake, and I was just psyched up. I was just like, oh my god, yo. I'm consuming! My inner consumer was coming out, so... I was pretty hyped. Not gonna lie. But, you know, let, let's take a look at that trailer. For ourselves. Peace is a lie. That is what the Sith believe. They promise power. Now they wield it. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. So after even um, after seeing that, I was just like, "Yo, like, there's maybe it's finally happened. Maybe Disney has finally listened to their cons to their customers, to their consumers, their f the fan base. Maybe Disney finally gives a shit. Maybe they finally care enough to listen, you know, to what Star Wars fans have been asking for." And that is Legends content. Maybe they finally listened. Yeah. And then I got the tweet. As soon as I as soon as I tweeted, oh man, like, you know, I hate to be a consumer, but this looks fresh. You know, as soon as I tweeted about the trailer, uh, this other guy, the Osseo file, who should who you should definitely follow on Twitter if you are a Star Wars uh, Legends buff or st any kind of Star Wars buff at all, um, follow him on Twitter. And give him a, give his tweets a little like, give him a little support. You know. Um, 
as soon as I tweeted that, he he tweets back at me saying, it's dead, bro. <laughs> it's dead. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? What, what you mean it's dead? And he, he sends me all the receipts, basically all the receipts, my dude. Uh, this lady, or I don't know if I don't even want to call it that, this woman, um, Sam Magus or something like that. What's her name? Hold on. Sam Mags. <laughs> Sam Mags is writing the KOTOR remake. The game is dead. There's no reason to play it. Stick to the original. Just, oh man. The prognosis was dire. It, I, I just was like, well, let, let me just see. Let me just see what it's about. Thankfully, this guy brought all the receipts. He just tweets, it's dead. <laughs> it's dead. It's just like, dang, bro. Oof. I write games, books, and comics. Next, Knights of the Re Old Republic remake, Call of Duty Vanguard. What are you doing writing the Call of Duty? I'm pretty sure this chick is not a soldier or has no military experience. Critical Role Origins, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Uh, I don't know what that is. By what is it with chicks and zodiac signs? Like, I, I just. I, I can't I can't get on that like it's just so tacky and basic when when hoes do that oh, sorry when when uh, women do that when women I have to respect women okay guys when women do that but it, it just really it really kind of like shows how basic they are anyway and so I, I, I dig deeper. He, he has all the receipts. He just has a tweet where it's like, it's dead. He just has all of her, her, uh, her just screenshots of her, all of her rants where she proves herself to be a raving SJW lunatic. <laughs> I mean, just like that, that hates Star Wars fans. I mean, just look, look at this. Okay, after all these years, I finally get to make a Bioware game. Isn't KOTOR your favorite? No. This is the chick that's in charge of writing... Of writing the new Knights of the Old Republic game. Are you serious? I feel like Disney and uh, Lucasfilm just sit in a boardroom like... Hmm, how can we piss off the pest, I mean, the, the fans today? <laughs> how can we piss off our peasantry? Well, they, they want to say our peasantry. Off the fans today. This, then this guy says, oh, I know. How about we put some raving feminist lunatic, some Kool-Aid hair, SJW moron that hates men um, and hates the fans put her in charge of writing for the remake. Why do we need to write for a remake? I mean, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, other than to, to, to put some SJW propaganda in there. Who knows? These people are, are all commies. They're all commies. They're all closet commies. Uh, they're all cultural Marxists. Uh, they hate um, character development or anything that they hate um, anything that would make a woman look look bad like they hate character development when it comes to women because you know it's like oh my god she should just be awesome and like you know a super uber cool women of color or trans women <laughs> just like and everyone will just automatically respect her <laughs> like just some of this some of this lady's tweets are just I don't know how she's in charge of this project. Okay, or in charge of writing this project. Why would you need to rewrite a classic story like Knights of the Old Republic in the first place? Unless there is going to be an SJW agenda thrust into that. Especially by, by this, by this zealot. Okay, let's read this. The Last Jedi, please listen to the powerful queer woman for once in your ding-dang life. Oh my god, she's almost as bad as, um... Oh man, what, what was her name? Uh, Admirable Andrea, that freaking, um... 
SJW clown with the pronouns in bio. She yeah, she had pronouns in her bio, right? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that was wishing death upon people like Data Racer and like um, the Jawa. Uh, <laughs> just like these people, man, they're crazy. And none of the Star Wars tours or clothes at the Disney store are separated by genders. The Last Jedi, men screw literally everything up every time. <laughs> this is the woman that's that's writing this game, folks. She hates you. She hates you, especially if you're a guy. And Star Wars appeals mostly to guys. I mean, girls don't really care about Star Wars. They, they just don't care. I mean, like, you can force it in front of a girl, and she just won't care. I mean, I, I know feminists, you know, want to be... Feminists want to be guys so bad but they hate guys like i just don't understand them they want all of the trappings of of men but they don't want to deal with the, with uh being rejected or uh you know dejected or you know having to to deal with the suck that we all go through when our lives are shit <laughs> let's be honest Women have it so good, especially feminist women in, in the Western world, that they look for challenges, that they look for, so, for some form of oppression so that they can feel like there's some kind of obstacle they're overcoming, like they're, you know, they're overcoming some, some menace out there. That and we don't are the, the, Darn you, patriarchy. They're shaking their fists at the sky. Darn you, patriarchy. <laughs> Hell yeah, TLJ is still amazing. Effing fight me. Yeah, the movie that every Star Wars fan absolutely freaking hates. If you want to hate Rey, at least be honest about it. You hate that she's a Mary Sue. <laughs> because she's a woman. <laughs> it's cool, just be real about it. Yeah, so we're all, we're all misogynists. <laughs> we're all just man babies, right? Right? I mean, they've tried this so many times with us. It's just, it's gotten so old. And it's just like, Disney, they hate their, they hate the people that buy their stuff. They really do. They're basically like, you know, fuck you, buy our product. <laughs> just every single, that's what these companies do now. That Like, they are openly hostile towards their fans. Because, I, I guess because they just, for some reason, want to fail, or they just have commies that that just don't like, that don't know anything about, don't care about the franchise. These people don't care anything about the franchise. They care about pushing their political agenda through the franchise. The franchise is just a vehicle, you know, and the fact that you hate whatever they're selling doesn't, you know, sit well with them because they're all supreme bullshitters. Snotty, angry baby boy. This is this is the language, they, the mature language that they use. Ray hardly needed any training at all. Me, strong in the Force. Do you not remember that Anakin was auto-born strongest Jedi because of an arbitrary and intensely stupid micro microorganism count? Or <laughs> like these people are so dumb. Like I, I honestly can't. At this point, I'm just like, how do they even function as, as real human beings? All right. How many times have we heard this argument before? This is the stupidest argument. And how many times have, have we debunked this argument? The, oh, but what about Luke? What about Anakin argument? What about Luke? What about Anakin? Like, did Luke not get his hand cut off? Did Anakin not get his hand cut off? I wanna, I, I just, you know, did Anakin just step up and just own Count Dooku in his first duel? But like, I want an honest answer from these people. And of course, they're too pussy to answer. They'll probably, say, well, what about this? They won't answer the question, you know. Even though Anakin got wrecked, by Count Dooku, got his arm chopped off, but he's a, he's a Gary Stu somehow. These people don't know what the, well, they, they know what they're doing. They want to piss you off, you know? They want to antagonize fans. 
because they know that the only way that you could probably, you know, fight back is to freaking watch go away, which is what they want you to do, you know, so that they could appeal to some new generation, you know, fans. But I'm just gonna tell my kids not to watch Star Wars, you know? Just don't, <laughs> just don't. Star Wars used to be great, and now, you know, SJWs, of course, have ruined everything they touch, you know? And, and this this is how much of a raving SJW lunatic this woman is. It's freezing, but hating the patriarchy keeps me warm. These are the people. These are the geniuses. <laughs> the brainwashed commie buffoons that are at the top somehow. I mean, I don't know how these people, you know, go through their hiring process, but, you know, it's... It shows. When is March? Anyways, I'm going to fly to Vancouver... Now remember to smash the hey, I'm gone, okay, XOXO. <clears throat> womp rat, Sam, womp rat. The most Gary Stew of all. This bitch. Oh my god, yo. These people are freaking lunatics. Fighting the patriarchy makes me hungry. So I'm going to sit in the kitchen while my male partner cooks dinner. Beta! <laughs> She ain't got no male partner. I'm telling you right now, this pro this bitch probably is so annoying. She probably doesn't get any dick, or she probably gets, you know, <laughs> she probably gets a little bit, and then the guy dips because <laughs> he doesn't want to deal with her bullshit. Yeah, but yeah, I could not stand being around this chick uh, I, unless I was like some kind of beta soy boy, which is like the only type of uh, guy that this woman could have and keep. Um, but anyway, she's, th this, this lady is just pure obnoxious. I mean, you wonder why sexism and, you know, actual sexism is on the rise. It's because these feminists keep it on life support with this attitude. Yeah. And, and when they find themselves old and alone and with their cats, I mean, she's probably alone with her cat right now. I don't know if she's a dog person, because, you know, white girls fuck dogs, but, yeah. She, she's, she's, she has all the signs. <laughs> all she needs now is the wine that they sell at freaking Walmart or wherever they get them now. I don't know. I'm not a loser. <laughs> but anyway, let's blame the patriarchy some more. Okay, let's, let's journey into the mind of a feminist. So, some, of, some of the worst professional experiences I've had involved white women with internalized misogyny. Oh, there we go. Doing the work of the evil patriarchy. I understand it, but it doesn't freak it less painful. Like, Jesus Christ. How condescending can you be? So basically, anyone who is not a feminist drone is... is is an agent of the evil people. <laughs> like I'm telling you, these people are are literal zealots. <laughs> oh man, I bet y'all miss the religious right now, don't you? <laughs> Have to deal with these people who are absolutely detached from reality. Oh my god. I'm literally just going to spend the whole day crying about Rey and Jin, some other Star Wars character from Disney that no one gives a shit about. I spent a lot of time talking about fighting the patriarchy, but these are the little moments that I despise it the absolute most. Representation matters. I feel lucky to work somewhere that values the inclusion of marginalized and LGBTQ plus A 1C people both on and behind the screen. Ah, uh, yeah, priorities. Oh man, these people. You can see what the priority is. It's not Star Wars fans. It's not Star Wars or the fans. You've hired an SJW. And how now she's in charge of, of writing, <laughs> rewriting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Another bait and switch by Disney, guys. You thought you were getting Star Wars. Nope, you're going to get political messaging <laughs> and a big F you <laughs> from the company. <laughs> 
This is why you don't believe the hype. This is why you don't go full consumer mode before any before you check it out, man. And I'm just shout out to Osteophile for showing me this because I mean I would have I would have just ridden that hype train. Of course, they showed that little trailer with just Revan and <laughs> nothing else. I mean, like, but you know, you know, if this chick is is in charge of anything, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be SJW Central. And I, I'm not giving them a penny, a penny until until they give us what we want. I've never seen Star Wars, LOL. Ha <laughs> Then why the? <laughs> uh, it's like they said, these people are not fans. These people don't even buy the product, but they write the product for people that do. They were right. They're in charge of drawing and presenting these terrible, terrible ideas to the public that obsess over race and gender and sexuality. Like, like that's all a person is. Yeah. Yet they call you a racist, a sexist, and a istphobe and, and all kinds of names. But when you call them a, a freaking NPC drone, then they get triggered. Anyway. This is 2021, guys. Welcome back to Clown World. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Afghanistan and the debacle that that is the Biden residency. I don't even call that a presidency. It's that on top of this news that uh, KOTOR is just going to be um, another SJW project. Uh, I... <laughs> It was just disappointment after disappointment, dagger after dagger, right to the freaking heart. Oh well, I guess I can just boycott this product too. <laughs> There's always so to my guys. Anyway, just don't buy this product. Just, just don't. And as for the Matrix Four and the Rukowski brothers, or. Do, uh, I'll call them brothers. I mean, you could call them the Wachowski sisters now. <laughs> the Wachow I guess they're known as the Wachowskis ever since both of them, not one of them, both of them transitioned. Like, I just, I guess crazy runs in the family. <laughs> I guess crazy runs in the family, guys. Oh, now we have two delusional people who, uh, who think that they're the opposite gender. Great. And they say they don't hate themselves. <laughs> like, it takes a special kind of hatred for yourself to go through surgery. Surgery. <laughs> to be something that you're not. Anyway, it's your boy, Coast. I'm, I'm done with this clown world. I'm so sick of this. All right, um... Be sure to give this video a like, thumbs up, and uh, check out my merch store, guys. All right. Peace out.